look in the mirror Man, you're so dirty Yeah, you look so dirty You were never worthy Lately, it's you Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show If you're easily triggered, leave now Because this is not the show for you This episode is going to be kind of important for you, gentlemen Because I'm going to show you how to protect yourself from paternity fraud how you can get out of these traps that these women place on the lives of many young men middle-aged and older men when they try to get you to pay for children that are not yours okay they're not your offspring so what i'm going to do i'm going to put a man up here he's going to give you a, a whole lot of information then i'm going to give you some statistical data to back up everything he's saying and what i'm saying at the end of this clip so let's go ahead and get started Give me a second as I pull it on your screen, man. We better get down. Get your notepad out, because we better talk some real stuff now. It would help to know what are the four ways that men and boys find themselves in this trap. One, you heard me hint to it, sign confession. Sign confession. And that is him signing a document called the Voluntary Acknowledgement of Paternity. The Paternity Participation Program. You notice all these little cute acronyms, right? In short, though, all they mean is he's going to have the right to pay with no say, and he has no legal rights to the child, but signing that confession that says, I did it without proof, is all that's needed to then take him to court and forcibly extract money assets for 18 plus years or longer the state now what i'm gonna do um gentlemen i'm gonna say this first you should never sign that birth certificate until you absolutely know without a shadow of doubt that that child is yours i don't care if you believe that your woman is an angel and you believe that she would never cheat on you because there's a lot of men who thought the same thing that found out later on in life that that woman was out there sleeping with different men Okay, now I'm not going to do a whole bunch of interrupting on this particular um, episode because I want him to get the information out to you, but I will be talking probably around the end of this clip. But let's keep going. I think he's going to actually just give you all the information you need. 18 plus years or longer. The stakes are so high that he needs to know the truth when? In the beginning. Number two, incorrect default judgment. Would you believe me that anybody here in the audience in the United States or any country that models their laws after the United States, a lawsuit can be filed against you to establish paternity and set child support for any kid. They, they'll put your name down. And if for any reason that you don't make it to that first hearing, a decision will be made using this sign you up authorization device in the hands of a hearing officer and a judge this device can get you authorized to pay for 18 plus years for a kid you don't know that's not yours from a woman you never even touched why because your name came across on the paperwork and then you didn't show up like the military men who were deployed out of state or out of country. How do you come to a hearing that you don't know anything about because the child's mother put her address down to have you serve? Think about what he's saying, y'all. Think about what he's saying. A woman can go to the court of law and it's legal to do this, okay? It is legal to do this. She can have a baby, be pregnant, have the baby. You never touched her. You never slept with him. Hell, you might not even know her. All she has to do <clears throat> is to simply put on a piece of paper your name and say that you are the one who fathered that child. And like you say, because I'm ex-military, if you're deployed out of the country and she puts down the best way to reach you is by s sending a letter to her address, you will never know about this until it's too late because you missed that first hearing. And it's all it takes is one. You miss one hearing, that first hearing. Now, next thing you know, when you come back from being deployed from overseas or from another state, now you got to pay child support on a kid that you know nothing about, 
with a woman that you've never met simply because she thought you might be the best choice think about that that's very wicked but guess what it is extremely legal mother put her address down to have you serve think about that for a second guys and yes there are times that guys say man yeah i know her but i we never even dated so i they'll straighten this out and unknowing what the effects will be to him he doesn't go to the hearing and by the power of that pen that hearing officer can make him be the legal father and then will not allow him to get a dna test later well you didn't come to the hearing there buddy and since you didn't show up because you were trying to dodge your responsibilities request for paternity testing denied again this woman you don't even know her okay and she can say that you are the father and you don't show up for that first hearing after you find out of course, the first thing a man is going to try to do is prove that he's not the father. So you can't even get a paternity test to prove that the woman is lying. The court is going to deny you that paternity test. It sounds crazy. I've seen other clips and other circumstances online where men have been forced to pay for children that were not theirs, even after they have proven with a paternity test that the child is not theirs. I believe it's called parentage by estoppel meaning that even though you're not the biological father of that child everybody knows this the woman even the courts know this even you know this but the fact that you was in that child's life contributing to that child's well-being like a father would meaning you would take the child out you play catch with the child you provide for the child putting clothes on the child you know stuff like that then you are acting like a father so what the courts does they say that you are guilty of parentage by estoppel by making you the honorary fake father the stepfather so now you have to take on all the responsibilities that a father will have to uh, have so you've got to pay for a child that you proven isn't yours there have been many black look it up for yourself now so you don't know i'm lying there's men who've been fighting for two anywhere from five years trying to fight even though they have been proven they're not the child so they have to hire a lawyer out the lawyer out the lawyer some people win some people don't i want you to think about that for a moment so all that cohabitating with a woman who already has a child from another man is unwise, okay? Because as soon as you move that child into your place, normally that's how it goes. If you move into her place, but normally you move this woman to your place with that kid, now it looks like you're common law married and that you are the father of that child because you're acting like it. And then when y'all separate and she take that kid, all she got to do is go to court and say, like, this is the real daddy. That's crazy, ain't it? Everything I'm telling you is factual. You can look these things up for yourself, okay? But let's keep going. And by the way, you better have our money by Friday. <laughs> Did y'all catch that? <laughs> you better have our money by Friday. The next one is marital presumption. You're like, what? Marital presumption? Yes, yes. In, certain, in many countries and states, if you are married to a woman, any children she has while she is married to you are automatically presumed to be yours and it is treated as a conclusive presumption I didn't say rebuttable conclusive so because that woman said you did it and you're married to her even if you guys are legally separated or how about this you're deployed you have an occupation where you travel out of the country or whatever and she got pregnant while you weren't even in country you had no access to her but because these laws exist you become legally responsible for every bit of the fun that she had with her boyfriend and in this age of no fault divorce guess what else can happen it is a compounded problem using the power of a no fault divorce you could be thrown out of your house child support lawsuit filed against you you get to pay alimony you're gonna pay child support and because you got thrown out of the house guess who gets stuck with the bill now in all of that where is this a good deal for the guy what did he do wrong not a blessed thing 
And the last one is mistaken identity. You can be incorrectly tagged because you can get a combination of mistaken identity and incorrect default judgment working together and a person whose only fault is they happen to have the same name as the biological father. And you're like, these kind of things don't happen. Oh, yes, they do. Yes, they do. I'm a victim of number one. See, when I was asked to sign the confession, nobody told me what happens to you if the other party, the kid's mother, is not telling you the whole truth. Because, see, I didn't know she got pregnant six weeks after I broke up with her. If she would have only mentioned that, oh, by the way, I've actually, I'm actually been flipping the quarter to see who I'm going to tell is the baby's daddy. But you, you know, you had two cars, you had a house, you were an engineer, and you had a side business where you had eight crews of DJs working for you, the baby's daddy. Did you guys catch that? So sometimes the economics of the most attractive candidate gets him selected. Sometimes it's the guy she's in love with at the time. You know, Mr. Right Now. What about the guy, you know, that one night stand? Well, she doesn't even remember his name. But you're the responsible guy. You know, that guy who dependable. You know, you're you're working toward a goal. And that happens more than you think, gentlemen. A woman will also know that she got pregnant by Pookie Ray Ray and Nook Nook. And at the same time, while she runs around, excuse me, run around acting like she don't know that it's his child, she'll pin it on you because you're a success. She'll do that simply because she knows that you can be a good man to that child. And when she's doing that, man, she can still be sleeping with Pookie Ray Ray and Nook Nook. I'm going to put some statistics on the screen. Hold on one second now. I got the camera off. I want to see how it looks like this. I see some other content creators do that. But let me go ahead and put this on the screen. Give me a second, ladies and gentlemen, as I share the screen with you. Give you some statistical data. There it is. Let me put it on the screen bigger. Now, read this. It says, according to DNATesting.com, it says, of all the possible fathers who take a paternity test, about 32% are not the biological father. Let that sink in for a minute. How many men are running around right now who have no clue whatsoever who the father is? I mean, they believe they are the father, but how many men are running around right now thinking they are the father when they are actually not? Now, according to the New York Post, the New York Post wrote an article that said almost one in 10 moms isn't sure who fathered their baby. They don't even know who actually got them pregnant. I want you to think about that for a second. Some of these women are running around here right now sleeping with so many men that they cannot tell you who the daddy is. You remember the Maury Povich show? Maury Povich, you are not the father. Guess what? That's real. I've seen it in my own community before growing up where a woman didn't know who the baby daddy was because she was out living a lifestyle of craziness, promiscuity, and debauchery. So... I hope this episode educated you because this is for educational purposes. And I'm probably be doing some more like this right here while you got only see my smooth ass pimp suit on, you know, with the Federa and those Versace glasses shade on sometimes, you know what I mean, when I read stuff. I don't know. I kind of like this right quick, but I'm still making where y'all can see me, but I think it's kind of, you know, fucking dope, to be honest with you right now. But anyway, you gentlemen, you better be careful out there, man, because these women, they ain't got no love, man. They coming for you tough, man, especially you young men. All right, y'all take it easy now. You hear?